This is Gwakwani, a remote village on the outskirts of Musina in Limpopo. This is the province's first and only smart village. In fact, in 2014, the University of Johannesburg came here and pioneered a project where they built a number of solar panels. They've also built solar powered uh, uh, geysers here and communal taps. And we do understand that this community before has been struggling with water, has been struggling with electricity, and they've been crying for many, many years to the government. And only when the University of Johannesburg came, the residents say that their lives uh, in fact changed for the better. This is proof of you know, uh, the work that they've done. It's a solar powered Giza where they are able now to get uh, hot water from this place. It is a communal tap, but it does go, you know, a long way for the residents here. In fact, there's about 28 homes in this place and less than 100 people living in this place. And they do have multiple communal taps, so that does help them. One other thing that the University of Johannesburg did manage to do uh, during the uh, yeah, their initiative here is that they built uh, a bakery. In the bakery, the primary bakery, you go there to supply the bread. So as na spa sa shop kana bakery, you need to deliver bread from outside to inside. Eh, so zara kono wana bread cha panoni kai bakery. You are somewhere near a border with Chile Queen. Another thing they have done is they've built a borehole, and the borehole. Uh, has managed to keep the water here running. As we know, that's very, very scarce in, 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 in many villages across the Limpopo province. This is one of the few villages that have consistent water supply, water that doesn't run out. Uh, they have hot water, even though it's from a communal tap, but this is a, a service that many uh, residents from um, Limpopo villages have been yearning for, for many, many years. Yeah. So solar panel, solar and street light. a street light the solar now that the University of Johannesburg has put uh, some of these uh, systems here, uh, they've been living better. In fact, they are saying that they don't have or they don't acknowledge the current government as they are saying they feel as if they've neglected them for years. And they've actually referred to the University of Johannesburg as their government because whenever they need anything, the university is always here to help them. <laughs> The <laughs> They do still have many, many more grievances and concerns. Uh, the first one is the issue of roads in this area. There are no roads. In fact, to get to this remote location, you travel on a gravel road uh, for more than an hour. The residents say this is one of their major concerns. They've tried to raise that many times. However, they've still uh, not been helped uh, today. Another concern that they've raised, of course, it's uh, since it's a remote location, they don't have uh, signal, cell phone signal. They are unable to make phone calls. They are unable to send uh, SMS messages through. And this is a problem that they have um, 
uh, express that is has been bothering them for many many years of course uh, it is election season now and they did actually tell eyewitness news that they are expecting to see the political leaders here just to engage with them on how they can make this place better and we do understand that so far only the city of the, the university of johannesburg has helped them with turning this place into a solar uh, a smart village rather but they are saying that they do need the government to step in and we will be seeing if that will happen or not for eyewitness news, I'm Alfa Ramushwana Gwakwani in Limpopo.